Bible therapy. This is part one of three parts, and it's going to be talking about spiritual warfare and the high praises of God. And spiritual warfare is something that the body of Christ have to understand how to conquer it and how to fight it and how to resist it. And when I say resist it, warfare comes because of the word, because of the adversary, trials and tests. So to understand spiritual warfare, you got to know the word, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 through 6, for my weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, pulling down strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God and bringing every thought captivity to the obedience of Jesus Christ and being ready to revenge disobedience and obedience is fulfilled. Even in Ephesians 6, verse 10 through 18, you know, you can check that out yourself, dealing with the armor of God and how to fight spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare is something that the body of Christ is constantly going to be uh, under attack with in spiritual attacks and spiritual warfare. Non-believers and believers, you know, you got to have the Holy Spirit to understand spiritual warfare. And the only way to go through spiritual warfare, you got to have the Spirit of God. Spiritual attacks comes because of the call, because of your mantle, because of your ministry. Spiritual warfare does the same thing. But at the same time, this is something to help you guys with. This is part one of three. This is called spiritual warfare and the high praises of God. And it's all and the first part of this is about praise. And what praise is key to spiritual warfare. And praise is something that you have to have all the time. You have to know how to praise the Lord. You have to know how to be very diligent in your praise and worship. That makes sense. So Let's get into it. All right, read uh, some research and some things I've been doing, some old notes and some old uh, things I had since I started, uh, uh, since I rededicated my life back to Christ in 2010. And praise is a very key thing to spiritual warfare, very instrumental to spiritual warfare. You got to have praise. So I'm gonna read uh, this and hope it helps you and I'm not gonna be before you long, just gonna get it. Hit it, knock it out, and hope it helps you uh, understand why praise is very important. Okay, let's begin. Praise is an expression of faith and a declaration of victory. It declares that we believe God is with us and is in control of the outcome of our of all our circumstances. That's Romans 8.28. Praise is a sacrifice, something that we offer to God sacrificially. Not just because we feel like it, but because we believe in Him and wish to please Him. I like that. I really do. By Him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Hebrews 13 and 15. Praise is a vehicle of faith which brings us into the presence and power of God. Praise and worship is the gate pass. I like that. The gate pass which allows us to enter the sacredness of his glory. His glory. Praise should be a part of a believer's lifestyle intermingled as a part of their daily prayer life. I like that. I'm going to read it again. Praise should be a part of a believer's lifestyle. For your lifestyle is your prayer life, and your prayer life is your lifestyle for a believer. Intermingled as a part of their daily prayer life. Praise is a powerful weapon for spiritual warfare that is often neglected. Praising the Lord can be a humbling experience. 
involving singing, lifting of hands to God, and we, men, in particular, men, have a difficult time getting into this emotional state because of cultural pressure. Wow, I'm gonna read it again. Men, in particular, have a difficult time getting into this emotional state because of cultural pressure. When we humble ourselves before the Lord, we invite Him to work through us. Men, we gotta get rid of that pride, get rid of that selfishness and self-righteousness, men. It said men in particular. Powerful stuff, man. Powerful stuff. Praise is a weapon because our adversary, which we all knew that is, Satan, the devil, does not want us to praise God because he knows that God inhabits the praises of his people. Now listen to that. Praise is a weapon because our adversary, the devil, Satan, principality, does not want us to praise God because he knows that God inhabits the praise of his people. See, Psalms 82, 10, I believe, says that open your mouth wide and he shall fill it. That our praise is as a sweet smelling savior to the nostrils of, of our Father. I, you know, I like that and that's powerful in itself. Praise is a weapon. Just think about that. Praise is a weapon in the midst of warfare. Praise is a weapon because our adversary, the devil, does not want us to praise God because he knows that God inhabits the praise of his people. <laughs> That's awesome. The devil cannot stand to hear a believer or a group of believers praise God. Why? Because when we praise God, this is key guys, when we praise God, we are telling the devil that no matter what surrounds us, what our circumstances are, that in the abundance, in the shortage, in sickness, and in health, in good times, and through storms, God is still on his throne. And I love that. Hallelujah. Worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. That's powerful. I'm going to read that again. The devil cannot stand to hear a believer or a group of believers praise God. That's why it's important to come to the house of God, come to the sanctuary, and be around the body of Christ one accord and self same spirit that raised Jesus up and going to be the same same spirit that modified the deeds of this body and raised us up from the dead too. So we come together collectively as one body, one mind, one spirit. The devil can't stand that. And I just want to read it again so you can understand that. The devil cannot stand to hear a believer or a group of believers unified in faith, unified in the word, preaching, singing the same thing, ministering, the same thing, coming together and doing the same thing in Christ Jesus, representing Him, being a representation of Him. Wow. Because when we praise God, we are telling the devil that no matter what surrounds us, what our circumstances are, that in the abundance and in the shortage, in sickness and in health, in good times, and in through storm, praise God. God is still on his throne, worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I bless you, Jesus. I thank God for that. That's awesome. Since God inhabits the praises of his people, the enemy knows that when we praise God, when we praise God, we will receive strength, joy, peace, victory, and he has to flee. I'll read it again so you can hear it. I read it again. I read it. I love that part. The last two parts is awesome. Look, since God inhabits the praises of his people, repetitive, the enemy knows that when we praise God, we will receive strength, joy, peace, victory, and he has to flee. So, in conclusion, guys, praise is very key and very powerful in the midst of spiritual warfare 
And like I said, I'm not gonna be before you long. That's this is still part one. This is part one of three. This is the basics, this is the beginning intro of what praise and how powerful praise is. As you know, it's a weapon to warfare in the high places of God. So stay tuned to part two, and we're gonna end it with prayer. Alright? Father, we bless you, we thank you. I give you the glory, honor, and praise. We sure rest well sleep. I thank you for the word that's being given. I thank you for the wisdom that you've given us and the impartation of us in this hour. And we thank you, Father, for being who you are in us and through us. Father, continue to use us and guide us in the ways that we should go, for we are more than conquerors. We declare and decree a thing and it shall be established. Father, we speak shalom to the atmosphere. We speak revival to this nation. And we shall continue to lift you up and glorify your mighty name. For we bless you, O Lord, O my soul, O my King, O my righteousness. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. For we hunger and thirst after you, after righteousness. And Father, let us wake up and arise according to thy will, to righteousness. We compel this nation to your glory. We compel this nation to your righteousness, your humbleness, your love, kind, joy, peace, and meekness. And we continue to give you all the glory, honor, and the praise. In the name of the Father, Son, the Blessed Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. You guys have a blessed and awesome weekend. I love you. Be safe. Continue to pray. Keep your mind mindful in prayer. And just have an awesome time in the Lord Jesus. For me to you, God bless you, and have a blessed night, blessed morning, blessed evening, a blessed day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless y'all.